It is Sunday. We are heading out show jumping today just for a couple of practice rounds. So I'm doing one competitive and one non competitive of the same round just to see where we are and everything like that. I've got hay all over me. As you can tell, I'm not very well. So I sound like a tit. Um, I'm dosed up to the nines on flu tablets. I've got soothers in my mouth. Um, but the show must go on. So we're just mucking out, doing hay nets and everything, getting everything ready. And then I'm not on till after lunch. I think it's about half two, quarter to three, something like that. So we're just gonna go home and then I'm gonna sit for a couple of hours, gain my energy back up and then go show jumping. It'll be good, it'll be a good day. I just need to get around some courses again and get my confidence back up really. Because, you know, Louis knows his job, but because we haven't really done it for a good while, I need to, um, you know when you don't do something for a long time and then you lose confidence because you don't believe in yourself or forget how to do it or whatever. Either way, this is why we're getting out and doing lots of little bits and bobs. So we're going to go give that a go today. Um, it's only 20 minutes away, which is great. I just need to get out to a few of these local shows and get back into the swing of things before event season starts. So we've got a few lined up and then a few um, cross-country schoolings. So that'll be really good. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. But I'm going to carry on filling hay nets, make sure everything's ready, go home for a cup of tea and then I'll be back with you. <laughs> And what will be will be, because I sound horrific. <laughs> it wouldn't be one of my videos if there wasn't some sort of retrospective insert. I did try doing this on the gallop yesterday, but it was so windy. I literally, well, you couldn't hear me. So I didn't, <laughs> it wouldn't be, oh, so I am now on a quieter hack the next morning on the golden one. Um going to jump Louis later. Um before we went to more show jumping, and I apologize massively for how ill I am in that video. <laughs> I sound so pathetic. Um <laughs> we went uh we went down to the arena and I thought I'd better jump the height because uh, I hadn't jumped anything of any height at all so thought better go jump a little course of um course of jumps so i've added that in uh, just to give you a full overview of well the lead ups to our to our outings really and um yeah you can see what we what we do we just do a well obviously after a warm up we then just do a nice little course and then pop it back up but it still looks tiny because louis is such a giant i mean oh tree he's 17 hands and um these were like a meter and a couple were a meter five and he's just i'm there thinking oh my god this is enormous and he's there thinking oh, i can step over this this is great fun um one day, one day we'll get to a height where we're both like, this is quite sizable. <laughs> Today is not that day. Thought I'd talk you through what was going on in this jumping session. So obviously warm up jumps, keeping it small. Didn't want him to run through my hand. So this is where I bring him back to walk. And then when he has accepted again, we go back into canter. <laughs> All I'm concentrating on over these smaller ones are what the feeling I have underneath me is. So I want the same canter in, over and out of these jumps, which we were actually doing really well at. 
Um, I need to keep the power on the corners to get down the lines. This arena, as fabulous as it is, it you don't realise how much power it takes away on the corners, so you have to keep the counter underneath you. But I'm trying to keep it quite compacted so he's being placed a little bit closer to the jump rather than taking long ones as well. This is just so he has to use himself a little bit more. So as this is a training session, obviously it doesn't matter if I do a circle. So I was supposed to be going to that oxa, but the canter was obviously not where I wanted it. So made a good decision to come get the canter back to how I wanted it and then represent him to the jump, which he jumped obviously really nice. So my aim here as well is to keep the canter compact so he can get a little bit deeper into the jump and still have the power to get over them. And um, I was really pleased with this line, actually. I managed to keep the canter compact and add the extra one in that I wanted to. So he um, jumped out really nice over that. And then we pop the jumps up to metre, metre five. And obviously I'm... Oh, he runs through my hand again. <laughs> so back to back to walk. Good boy. And then canter on. Um, we're trying to beat the light here as well. Uh, so it was a bit of a quick one. But as you can see, I'm trying not to change my canter from the time where it was really small to the time where it's really big. Because he's got the power as long as I've got the canter engaged and active enough. Um, this one was a little bit long so that's a bit of a big jump in on the way out but we get the canter back to the nice rhythmical shorter canter that I needed it and then he pops over these planks really nice and then I keep my canter better on this one and can come straight to this oxa which I'm not gonna lie when I was facing that oxa it looked massive and then you look at the video and you're like, oh, tiny again. <laughs> but again, I was really, really pleased with this session because the whole time I managed to keep my canter as even as I possibly could, which is like the main thing we've been trying to work on. Because when I get nervous, I get a bit erratic which means our canter stride gets a bit erratic as well. Um, and then I end up firing or using too much hand. But I was really pleased with this session, so we left it there. With lots of good boy pony pat. Just got to Moors. It's busy. There's lots of cars everywhere. We're just going to see what's cracking. And then we'll get him off the lorry and do course walk and stuff.
getting tired. I have been absolutely useless at vlogging today. Um, you've got us going, me jumping, and us finished. <laughs> so uh, I apologise for that very much. Um, I really am not well. But I was really pleased with him because we got a little third rosette which I was really pleased with and actually our rounds looked nice and were respectable we went HC in the second round because I just wanted to I just want to get out there and do it to quell my nerves I guess you know Louis knows how to do his job but I haven't done it for quite a while so I need to get out and make it normal again um so the HC round again was a good round but he rolled the second to last pole but I think he was getting a little bit tired by then because actually he's not done a huge amount of rounds of jumping but I was really really pleased with him I was actually quite pleased with myself um so yeah it was actually a very good day a very good day I am going to go and collapse and probably have a hot bath because I'm losing functionality very quickly and the cold and flu tablets have definitely worn off. So I think that's me out for the day. That's me out. You've got treadmill tomorrow, then you can have Tuesday off and then hopefully by then I'll be better. Because I hate being ill. <laughs>